The three county fairgrounds was packed with people today. Extravaganza returns for another year, even though the city of Northampton made one major change to this year's event. With rain jackets and umbrellas in hand, thousands of people came out for the annual extravaganza event. Our mission um, is to bring people together who are all, all interested um, in cannabis. Lindsay Schreiner from the UMass Cannabis Reform Coalition tells Western Mass News that some of the ticket sales will be going to the Massachusetts Bail Fund. We also like to uh, promote um, awareness for different events, um, such as mass incarceration um, and people incarcerated for low-level drug offenses. But this year, the city of Northampton made it more difficult to draw in an even bigger crowd. The age restriction is definitely affecting the event today. Um, um, unfortunately, fortunately for those in the five college area, including UMass, which is the school that we attend, um, if you are 18 and over, you can get into the event with a valid ID. Um, however, we are excluding a lot of people who attend community colleges or don't attend school at all, who are in that 18 to 20 uh, years of age. She says this is something that she hopes will change next year. For future events, we'd like to not have those restrictions. Those restri restrictions were based on us by the Northampton town um, this year, um, and unfortunately we're, we weren't able to compromise. Saturday's event had plenty of music and more than 80 vendors. See the growth, um, the people, uh, more education, you know, everybody's more better informed and they want to be more informed and so we see the growth there, we see the growth in the vendors. Even with ticket sales being different this year, that didn't stop people from coming, even from out of state. We actually have one of the biggest facilities that grows medical marijuana in Mississippi. A lot of people just don't know it, but I don't think it's going to be legal there soon, so it's pretty cool to be here.